Star Break, and it is still a beautiful Wednesday morning here in the studio of Good Morning Abuja. And now it's time for another conversation with an entrepreneur in person of Atunike Longe. She will be looking at how to start a fashion business in the rural area. And she's here in the studio to tell us how we can go to the rural and then start this fashion business. You're welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Hi, it's good to have you and I love what you're wearing. Thank you, appreciate it. And you're still celebrating love. Yeah. Because I, I, I still <laughs> see the red and it flashes in my eye. Well, okay. passion, business and in the rural area. So yeah. how do you now see, you know, how do you now get that niche for fashion? Okay. First and foremost, you must um, be able to identify a problem okay and then as an entrepreneur you should be able to solve that problem okay so in the rural area i think one of the challenges that they have is the fact that we have tailor shops everywhere mm -hmm. that's the roadside tailor but we do not have fashion schools okay and um the roadside tailors you have lots of um people who learn there for like two three years and they still do not have an idea of the fashion business mm -hmm. so you must first acknowledge as a fashion designer that you are creating value you are okay. delivering value and then you capture value so you can start the fashion business by identifying that problem which is um, okay there's no school here so i can start a school where i can train people and teach them the business in fashion design Ooh. and you think they are not okay with the you know the side tailors there and the other side is not bad, mm -hmm. but the school will help you and make you a better person. Like for the school now, you have um, opportunities to learn other things, okay, not just the fashion. So you learn um, probably freehand um, illustration. You also learn um, pattern drafting, okay, identification of sewing machines. Mm. You know how to take accurate body measurement. Like the real side tailor may just be there cutting, cutting, and then. You're just observing. You do not have an idea of what is happening, you know, and then you stay there for long or you know, probably send you to go and get some things to go and buy this and before you come, the person is done cutting and all that. When in fashion school you're taught everything step by step. Okay. You're taught how to, you know, take your corporate measurements, how to cut and you're supervised on the work that you're doing. Okay. So it's a good one for Okay, so um so looking at the you know the tailor by the side okay. when we say tailor and then the fashion uh designer yeah. because for a layman they are all doing the same thing mm. Mm -hmm. true yeah More because though. you <laughs> can bring someone and you tell him she's a uh, roadside tailor and she's a fashion designer <laughs> at the end of the day you're sewing that cloth for him he won't look at it as you know you're doing something different but the fittings might be different the sewing yeah. might be different yeah. right yeah. so to the layman what are these differences that he can like see them and be able to identify them okay for the roadside tailor most of what they do is uh, probably amendments cutting of clothes <laughs> <laughs> you know they just cut and then fix well, like a fashion designer now you have an idea of what you want to design okay and then you design it you could probably sketch it and mm. then you make that clothes and truth is roadside tailors do not really pay attention to details okay. but a fashion designer definitely pays attention to details the finishing is actually top notch you know your work is neat your ironing your delivery your packaging mm -hmm. all of this differentiates the fashion designer from Okay. so as a fashion designer and somebody that is trying to delve into you know the fashion house in the rural area how is the acceptance level there okay because we'll be looking at the money don't no, get me wrong because definitely. that should be the first thing and definitely mm. definitely okay now if you're going to start a fashion school in a rural area yes you must first study the environment okay. and the people there and you must be very affordable mm. affordable 
that people can have access to your school yeah. and then learn. Like for myself, I learned this skill for free. <laughs> so, so if, they should if, be able to get something similar yeah, like sure. that. So you could probably start a free tutorial, a free lessons for okay. them. Then subsequently you can start collecting fee. Okay. And then. So um, this fashion designing, I know it generates income. Yeah. Oh. I like that. <laughs> this one that you yeah. I, 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 then definitely yeah. it pays your bills. Yeah, it does. It does pay pay the bills. And um, fashion is very wide. There are many things you can, you know, okay. do in the fashion industry. Aside um, the sewing of clothes. Mm -hmm. What else can you do to okay. make money? Another thing is um, teaching. Okay. That's fashion. You can be a fashion tutor. Okay. okay. To uh, and then another is. Um, Maybe if your community or the rural area doesn't have like a weaving machine, mm. you have a weaving machine, you know, and the stunning machines <laughs> and other things. Clothes. And then you could um, uh, buy fabrics, okay, sell them, fashion accessories, mm. those tools and all that, the thread, the needle, and all that. Not many people have it. So when you create that niche for yourself, definitely people come and patronize you. Well, that's good. That's good. Thank um, you. So, you, you kind of get the money from all the things. Yeah. But what about you now making a design for some of these um, fashion houses? Sure. That's another... Does that bring you an income? Yeah, it does. Okay. okay. As a fashion so illustrator. It's not just yeah. about sewing clothes. Yeah. There are so many things. There are so many things. Mm. Thing, the fashion okay. Business. Well, we can do, we can give it a try. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, what are the benefits and also the challenges? That you have in this fashion mm. industry one of the challenges is um, probably finance okay like um for a starter you need finance to be able to start mm. because you definitely have to get a space yes and the rent these days not really <laughs> you have to get a space you have to get um, your sewing machine mm -hmm. you have to get um, some of the tools that you need to, okay. to start and then um, um, distribution, um, maybe after making the clothes and all that, distributing it now may be quite difficult sometimes mm -hmm. because, um, because you may be taking the clothes to a very far place and you have to ensure that it gets to that person and sometimes the time it takes to get there. To get there. And another challenge could be the manufacturer. For my kind of person, I love to get quality fabrics, okay. good fabrics, and one that will last, mm. you know, so so if they don't produce something nice, you know, I won't be able to, you know, make it for my clients. So okay. sometimes you may get something less quality and you may just have to send it back and all that. So the time sending it back, bringing it back to make something like may take a while. So, But for someone mm -hmm. that is starting that kind of a business, you know, and then you know the financial state yeah so where can he or how can he assess to something reasonable okay reasonable there are people who sell good fabric something that will last yes there are people who sell good fabric like for abba mm -hmm. like abba market now you know they sell so many many fabrics so it's you now as a fashion designer you're able to identify when you see them okay you know you touch the texture and feel it and all that so Physically, right. Okay, so um, before we let you go, you, um, how can you encourage the youths that okay. are not really doing anything but then they have this niche for the fashion business? Okay, I will first say you must put the God factor first mm. and then you must be very determined. Okay. And then you ask questions, you know, people don't like asking questions, you just feel big or you know, the pride in them will not want to make them ask questions. Ask mm. questions from those who are into the business, you know, learn from them, watch videos, you know, practice every day, and then become a better version of yourself. Thank you so much, uh, Longe. Okay. We appreciate you, and Thank we you. hope by the time we bring our clothes, <laughs> it should not be that expensive. No, so we're very affordable. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much thank you, thank you.
Well, I've been speaking to Atunike Longe, an entrepreneur who is into fashion business. And she said, practice and always practice. They say practice makes perfect. And up next is our entertainment feature, still celebrating love. 